guys so today I have a haul video for you guys um, you guys will see that some of the stuff in the haul I've already used and opened actually majority of it I've already used and opened sorry my dog is walking around but um, it's because I did a little like video of a get ready with me and I used some of the stuff in that video that I got so yeah and some of the stuff I've just had for a couple weeks now but I just wanted to show it to you guys so um, first things first um, I'm gonna show you guys some jewelry that I got for my sister's wedding and for like the rehearsal dinner and stuff like that that was New Year's Eve um, I just wanted to show you some of the jewelry and it's all from Charming Charlie's so the first thing are these earrings and I got these to wear the night of the wedding because my my dress had like a gunmetal, um, kind of like silvery gunmetal, like uh, detailing, like on under the bust area, and um, I wanted earrings to match, so I got these earrings, and they're super cute. I do believe these were like ten dollars, maybe. Um, so yeah, I have those. So the second thing is just the ring that I got. Um, I didn't want too much um, because I already have my engagement ring on this hand so I just wanted something simple for the other hand and I got this ring which is just a really pretty like sparkly ring and this was $10 from Charming Charlie's as well. And then the next last thing that I got from Charming Charlie's was this necklace that I'm wearing. This um, came with a set with these earrings for um, I do believe it was like $13 and some change it's really cute because um, it's a white set I do believe they have this in white black and gray and I loved the white set because it don't have like any white stone jewelry and, and I thought it was so pretty because it'll pretty much go with anything and in the summer when I have like a little bit of a tan it's gonna be so gorgeous so I love this set and it came with the earrings which was really nice so yeah that was everything I got from Charming Charlie so now on to the makeup part so I got one thing from Walmart and that was this real techniques this is the um, core collection 2.0 um, I guess this is some of the core brushes that they have and this is the orange set so in this set um, it comes with the real techniques this is the buffing brush I always use a brush like this to buff in one thin layer of foundation before I go in with a beauty blender so this today and this worked amazing um, this is so soft and it's just so I don't, it's just really soft and it buffed everything in so nicely and it didn't like as I kept on buffing like with some brushes it'll just like wipe it off well I could keep buffing with this and it was just making it like airbrush so I loved this it comes with the pointed foundation brush so this is just kind of to put like a cream contour try to, to kind of just get me like a more defined contour rather than just like using my finger or something and then I don't have to get my fingers all dirty so I love that for this and then the last one that comes in this collection is the contour brush I haven't used this yet but um, I imagine myself either blending out cream contour with this or um, buffing on like some kind of cream blonde bronzer or contour or something like that um, especially in the summer if I'm ever going to do any um, or a lot of cream products I I feel like this is going to be amazing for that so um, I love this and this is one of the main reasons why I got this kit. So that was the first thing, um, that was just the Real Techniques uh, brush set. So then I went to Target and I got all ELF products there and I just got some things that I saw that I have either never seen before or things that I went there looking for that I knew that I wanted and then something that I needed. So the first thing, which is the thing that I needed, is just a new eyelash curler. I actually have their first um, eyelash curler that they came out with, like the little white one and mine is so messed up so now this one does look a little bit different it's silver and um, I don't really it's not as comfortable as the old one that they have but whatever um, it works really really well though so so I just got a new eyelash curler um, I don't go for expensive ones just cuz to be honest I don't really think they're that much different and um, I don't I'm not a huge like mascara person so unless I was like trying to like play up my real lashes um, I wouldn't really need a good one so I just kind of get this one and this one does the job for me and then I got this little um, elf concealer brush this is from their dollar line they have like their dollar brushes and then they have like their three dollar brushes and three dollar line so I got this one this is the concealer brush and it's literally just a little tiny itty bitty brush that is good that I thought is just gonna be great for spot concealing which I don't do a lot of because I really don't break out that much but I thought it would be great for lining underneath my eyebrows um, so I'll find something to do with this it's just a really nice like detail brush for some things and then I got this brush this is the small tapered brush this is from their <clears throat> more professional I guess you could say brush line 
and I have used this the past two days for um, adding my contour uh, powder so this has been amazing for that um, as you can tell it's just really small you could use like this for a highlight you could use this for your contouring which is what I did and it creates like a beautiful contour um, you could use this really for anything that you want you could use this for setting your under eye makeup or whatever it's just a really good brush and I think that if you're starting out and you're just starting to do a lot of stuff with makeup this is an amazing brush to have it's only three dollars so I got that one the last thing from Target is an elf mineral powder brush um, both of these brushes by the way the past two brushes are new um, from elf so um, um, I've never seen them before and I thought they looked really good so this is the mineral powder brush this is just a like medium to small size brush and I thought this was going to be great for setting face makeup with powder or for mineral makeup which I'm going to try out tomorrow because I haven't used mineral makeup since I got it but tomorrow I had to take a test at school so I figured I could probably just put on quick um, powder makeup tomorrow like mineral um, powder so I'm gonna try that out then to see how well this works with mineral powder because I do have another brush that's kind of similar to this but a little bit um, it's more round than this this one's like this one's taller and thinner than the other brush that I have that I usually use for mineral makeup but um, I'm gonna see how this one works so I got this one and once again it was only three dollars so, um, last but definitely not least, I went to Ulta and I got a couple of things. Some of the stuff I got before my sister's wedding, for her wedding, and then some of it I got um, after the wedding, like this past weekend, um, just because I had money and gift cards and stuff. So, the first thing I got for my sister's wedding was the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade, and this... And this one is in the color soft brown. Now the reason that I got this one because I already have one um, in chocolate is because the one in chocolate is so dark. It literally matches my hair color, like my natural hair color. This, All of this up here is natural and then I do have some blonde in the ends. But all of this is natural so um, it matched my hair color and it was just extremely harsh and because it was so harsh and because my skin is so fair it just looked ridiculous and I did wear it for a long time um, I still have a lot of product left but for my sister's wedding because I knew we were gonna be taking a lot of pictures I really wanted something that was a lot softer and wasn't gonna be so harsh on my eyes so I did get the soft brown and this matches me so much better as you can tell it's still dark but the other one was like looked like almost black on my eyes so I love this one so this one works really well and I love the Anastasia dip brow pomade so I got that and then I got a new powder because I really needed a new good setting powder because I wanted one that was gonna make me look completely flawless in pictures and stuff like that so I got the it Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores and um, it's a poreless finish HD micro powder. I've been eyeing this for some time now at Ulta and I decided to get it before my sister's wedding and it's really good. It's a translucent powder and it literally makes your face look perfect and flawless. It's a super fine mill powder and um, it just works really really well. If you have oily skin I highly recommend this because this stuff makes you matte but beautiful. The next thing was something that I just saw as I was pretty much like um, looking through Ulta and I wanted to find some new things that were new that I hadn't seen before and I found this NYX Conceal Correct and Contour Kit and it's just it's in the color light that's what I got mine in and it basically is a highlighting contour and concealer palette from NYX it looks a lot like the MAC one but yeah I got that so the next thing is the Anastasia um, number 12 brow brush I have been using this so this number 12 Anastasia brush has worked wonders ever since I've gotten it I love it I definitely don't regret getting it it's around $18 and it's worth every single penny so I got that as well the last two things um, kind of go together. I got the NYX Lip Liner in Plum. It's a gorgeous, just plum color. Um, I'll swatch it for you guys. It's a gorgeous plum color. And I got that because I was finally able to get my hands on, and I was finally able to find the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Copenhagen, which is super dark, and it actually matches the plum lip liner um, pretty much perfectly. It's such a gorgeous shade. There's the soft matte lip cream next to the plum liner. Um, I've been looking for the shade everywhere. Um, it's, it's always sold out. I literally looked 
at like five Ulta's all through December and none of them ever had it and um, online like even sold out and then they finally put it and they finally got it back in stock online so I figured they would have it at my store and they didn't and then the last time I went I wasn't even looking for it anymore because it's I looked everywhere and I still couldn't find it but um, right there out of the corner of my eye I saw it and there was a girl standing in front of it and I was like excuse me and just like smiled at her and grabbed it because I wanted it and I got it so I finally got the Copenhagen lips soft matte lip cream and yeah so that was everything that I got that was my little haul I hope you guys like this video and if you guys did like this video give this video a big thumbs up and if you guys want to see more videos like this one then subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in the next one bye guys